competitive swimmers generally have a higher percent body fat than, than competitive land endurance athletes. And you can see this in Olympians. I mean, if you look at Oli our Olympic swim team or the water polo team, I mean, they have beautifully sculpted bodies. They don't have much body fat. But if you look at the distance runners, they're an entirely different animal. They have, like, no body fat. It's a very different physiognomy. Several studies have shown no significant effect on weight or percent body fat in longer-term aquatic exercisers and swimmers. There's some controversy on this. Work in our lab, we basically took two groups of, of college-age students, all of whom rank higher in their percent body fat than you would like to see in somebody between the age of, say, 18 to 22. I mean, these... You know, if you look around a college now, you see an awful lot of chunky collegians. The study that we showed, the study that we did basically had students in a three time a week, 15 to, or 15 week uh, hour long exercise program. We tried to design similar activities. They involved the same amount of running, the same amount of Jumping, one group was in the water, the other group was on land. They were all vertical exercisers. And what we showed basically is that the groups basically did the same. They both lost a little bit of weight and they both increased in their lean muscle mass. And there wasn't a significant, a statistically significant difference between the two groups. That's in collegians. So it's probably a little different in older folks. Now, interesting, going back to the study that um, came out of the Cooper group, and this is, again, this is again uh, Steve Blair's work, uh, and, and what they found basically in looking at the comparative percent of overweight body mass, swimmers are really double almost what runners are. Swimmers were even higher than the sedentary individuals in this study and higher than the walkers. I don't know why that is. I, I mean, is it because swimmers don't lose weight when they exercise? Is it because if you're overweight, it's harder to be a walker and a runner? I, I don't know the answer. Cardiorespiratory fitness and aquatic exercise at similar intensity, duration, and frequency is equivalent to land-based exercise in, in fitness benefit, <coughs> strength, lipid alterations, and body composition. A 40-minute minute session of aquatic exercise can easily achieve a, an appropriate training intensity level to gain the health benefits of exercise at 50 to 65 percent of peak METs or 65 to 70 percent of peak of, of max heart rate. Shallow and deep water exercise can both provide the benefit. Trained swimmers show increased cardiorespiratory fitness but poorer treadmill performance than trained runners. Well, that's kind of a big dull because what do swimmers do? And what do treadmill run runners do? Treadmill runners run. There isn't a fitness measure at this point that looks